welcome. I'm doing a quick video on the super capital as it's now complete. What you're looking at up there is the hailstorm um, in its latest sort of iteration. I would say this is going to be this is going to be it really. Okay, so I'm going to give you the guided tour. You can see there's uh, all the turrets and everything on the back there. Room for a um, repair ship. I think that was and a salvage in perhaps but I've actually built salvages in now so also for people to just ride along because you can it's quite a big docking area there we're gonna go inside firstly this is the upgraded dock with uh, a lot more room than before um, so I've got a nice lander here for going down onto the planets um, gravity unit is right here I've made ramps instead of steps. I've made this whole area much, much larger. Expanded it by about one block. Um, I've used a few of these sort of glass slants as well to do the lighting a little bit. Uh, loads more plex storage because you always need more storage. All the computers are down the middle. Got a lot of turrets there. I'll do, do the numbers in a sec. Uh, two fast firing turrets on the back. And then, of course, the actual AMC array. And that AMC array covers the entire canopy. It's not just the one in the middle. So there you go. I'd like to do the canopy corners a little bit better, but it's hard to do corners. It's spherical. So. keeps teleporting me out of the ship sometimes for like up to a kilometer and a half and I don't know why I'm sure I'll find out so yeah the ship this is complete uh, these these four things at the back here are drones they can undock and they are Bobby AI ships there's four on each side and then on here we've got uh, these are actually player turrets but they are set up with the bobby so up to four players can man a turret each and shoot the pirates you know with these uh, I believe these have a faster fire rate um, and these are short range so and the same with the front ones inside the canopy the uh, the ones that I showed you inside the canopy, they've they've got a, a short range as well. It's meant to deal with stuff that gets too close or is behind the main weapon. And I can tell you one of them works pretty well against small enemies. So I'm sure I've got enough here. Try counting that, okay? So I've gone over the 700,000 blocks, and we go through some stats now. So up we go. Let's go dock up with with the hailstorm. Here it is, the hailstorm. Uh, 718,886 blocks. Length 296 meters, height 146 meters, width 142 meters. So 262 and a half million energy total. It does 1.23 uh, million energy recharge per second. The thrust is nearly half a million, 476 thousand. The shield's total is 2.3 or thereabouts 2.29 million shields and then the recharge is 29,000 per second. There's 152,000 shield blocks. The recovery is still four seconds. It doesn't seem to go any higher than that. Um, and yeah, it's finished. 
So, like I say, we've got some attack drones at the back that can be undocked. They'll fly about and do their stuff. Uh, we've got some bigger turrets on the back. But yeah, it's kind of less squarey. I wanted to do more with the corners, but the corners turned out to be really difficult. <laughs> really difficult, even with like guides and shit and stuff like that. So I'll probably end up asking somebody to help me out with that with those corners just to make them just to finish them off. But yeah, the it's done. So I may as well give you a quick demo. Um Oh yeah, that's the turrets in the canopy. Okay, so first of all, the salvager. The salvager is pretty cool. It's got a rate of 3.3, .3, which is not bad. So if I just sit here, and it just rips through it. Quite effective. Then I've got a uh, sort of small bunker buster array which I will show you there we go and then I've got a large bunker buster array and I'm going to dumb fire it to stop it from oh, hopefully they fired before they locked on I'm just going to straight line there we go and that's the large the large bunker buster array so that's quite a decent amount of damage now Finally, the AMCs. Oh, baby. Right, so brace yourselves for a lag spike. And the FPS hit zero. And I've still got the mouse button down. I'm going to take it off because the game just froze up. So we'll see what happened. Uh, not responding. Zero FPS. And the uh, frames are coming back. Five seconds of lag. Server might be frozen. We've got damage appearing now. Okay, looks like it drilled through the planet, and we only had a, sh a few pulses of wide fire. Wide fire. Let's try to figure out what's going on. Okay, so it's actually still catching up. Right. Oh wait. <laughs> No idea. Can't really tell what it's doing. The guns are just too big. Oh, I never thought I'd say that, but it's true. See, because when I fire, reality tends to just freeze up, and then when I finish firing, the universe catches up with me. What the hell? Okay, well, yeah, the guns are fine. They work great. Okay, so anyway, what have we got here? We got. I am actually in build mode. There we go. Uh, what the hell happened here? I would like to know what happened here. And how, huh? Oh dear, my guns have been destroying my turrets. <laughs> okay, good to know. Um, if you put your turrets in front of your guns, you will kill your turrets. <laughs> uh, live and learn, guys. I've never actually put turrets in front of the guns, so... Yeah, um, I kind of assumed... This is what happens when you assume. I assumed <laughs> that, uh, that it would shoot through parts of, you know, anything docked to the parent ship. But I was wrong. Because obviously the turrets can't shoot each other, and the ship can't shoot itself, so I figured, well, well, now I know. So it's kind of an experiment anyway. So there's obviously four on the, each corner, and we've got ten, so that's twenty, forty, sixty nearly 80 Six, yeah, 74 76 76 turrets top and bottom 
well, you know, total. But there's 76 there. So, if someone wants to come and orbit me really quickly, really close, which is what the uh, computers tend to do, they'll fly around the middle in like a spiral. Um, they're not going to survive that. You can see the difference in power between the one missile group and the second missile group and then obviously the actual weapon system. I had, I had some fun designing this drone because you've got to fit it into this little box. It can only be that big. I've still got plenty of space I didn't use but I didn't want it to look like a cube either. I mean it is kind of cubish. Especially from that angle but it's got some see, it's got some character to it. A little bit. Um, so there's my there it is. That's that's the hailstorm, and it's called the hailstorm for reasons that you can't even see. See, when it fires, it creates a 120 by 130 grid of projectiles, which the game can't even. Oh, I swear I could just about see it then. Doesn't seem to be firing. Unless that's. Yeah, that's dead. That's dead, isn't it? They're both dead. <laughs> so what? There's one more left down there. Whoa! Okay, he's dead too. Yeah, this is really effective. Yup, core overheating. Any more for any more? Yeah, there is one. What's that one? That's weird, it's an interceptor, but it's not moving. And I think I'm very close to the limit for AMCs, so. Um, That's been a great video, and I shall see you on the next one. i got a load of new stuff coming out soon. So, um, please check out the Facebook, check out the Google community. That's where I post up most of the screenshots I get. And uh, I link to them from the Twitter, so it's at Mushroom Fleet. So, uh, comments below if there's anything in particular you want to see me doing.